theme is um, learning to let your work go. The difference between releasing your work and forgetting your work. And I don't really think, you know, sometimes like coaches say that, and I've said that before as well, like just forget, you got to forget the work, but it's not really true. You don't really forget it. I was listening to um, Mark Rylance talk about directing and, and I loved his, he has his garden analogy and talking about how you just in rehearsal and in your preparation, you're doing all of this, you're working the soil and you're planting the seeds and you're, 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 you're watering and you're doing all this stuff to take care of the garden. And then when you go to play the scene, a lot of the seeds you planted are going to pop up, but there's also going to be some surprises along the way, right? Uh, improv. And you're going to have, you're going to have some weeds up over here. You're going to have things that you planted that didn't come up. Mm -hmm. So I really love that analogy because it is so much like what it is, but it is one of the hardest things for the, especially for us petty creatures to really truly do that work and then do that work so that you can free fall and come into the scene and then you're only the only thing you really have to do anymore is try to affect the other person and listen that's and so that's the whole goal when you when you free fall when you let go when you release when you release the work you are now living through you living the scene and you don't know what's coming next. And so you do all this so that you can leave it alone. Yeah, genuinely be the listen, listen like your life depends on it. I'm Let it good at, you. Yeah. Boom.